depreciates the value of luxury. Uh, personally, I won't allow with me uh -huh. 15 a sack bundles is 150 yeah. you just had to be there the money would come quickly quickly very obedient with the cake cake because i'm the ingredients in the cake cake one place you'll never see me is by the jake big cigars martinis by the lake boss you still get a hundred by the face my connect still speak no one And then you go get the, oh, if you like Pillsbury, try this. No. No. We ain't doing that. We ain't doing that. But then you got to address the phone. The cookies test. might be good. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, Bandy. Don't cut me the f At one sign of ungratefulness <laughs> or anything, I'm kicking motherfucking Now, y'all see what Bandy just did? Her mic turned red quick as hell. Take lessons from her. Take lessons from her. Because I didn't make this motherfucker y'all to talk right now. I made this motherfucker talk right now. And that's what the Do you hear me? And do you understand me? Don't let this co-host shit your head, Bandy. Do you understand me? Let me know and I can ask you a question. Gee. I'm going to let you know. I'm going to let you know. Um, I was saying something about the Pillsbury and the cookies. Oh, yeah, exactly. okay. So the cookies might be good, you know what I'm saying? But they ain't Pillsbury, though. They ain't Pillsbury. Everybody f you know what I'm saying? So Swamp is like the uh, the, 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 the Audi version. Uh, he's just a great value queen. Everybody know that. He a great value queen. You know what I'm saying? It's like, if you like Kitchen Queen, try this. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? If you like clean paper, try this. You know what I mean? <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> Y'all know what I mean? Who gonna, you can talk knock, Bandy. Go ahead, because I know you want to say something about that. You know what I mean? Oh, shit. All right? Let me tell you something. This is the one and only time you're going to have me on lock and key like this. This is crazy. This is my question, though, right? Uh-huh. So the people that feel like you said Swamp was your son, for real, for real. So your, your kid's supposed to be better than you. So of course we think he could beat you. What you going to say to that? See, it's a difference, you know what I'm saying? And let me break it down to y'all. It's the difference okay. between Swamp and his brothers. You feel me? And I'm going to tell y'all the difference. The difference in Swamp and his brothers is Swamp is rebellious. You feel me? <laughs> Lil Marmar, I tell Marmar, sit the fuck down, he go do it. Romero, I tell Romero, sit the fuck down, he go do it. Tyshawn, I tell Tyshawn to sit the fuck down. He don't want to do it. And this is what I tell him. Marshawn is going to look up to Tyshawn because Tyshawn is his older brother. Do you understand what I'm saying? So y'all know I'm not lying. My kids, okay. all my kids' names sound alike. You, you know what I'm saying? So I'm, I keep telling him, <laughs> baby Sean is going to look up to you. So when you talk back to me and then he see me smack you in your shit, it traumatizes them. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> So I got it. This is an ass whooping that he needs in front of the whole class. That answers your question. My other kid is not rebellious. Swamp is. Even my grandson, I go pick his kids up. You feel me? I go pick E's up. I spend time with E's. You feel me? Me and E's go, you know what I'm saying? What you want some ice cream, grandson? What you want to go play laser tag? You know what I'm saying? I go do all that with my grandson. You know what I'm saying? And I used to do all that with Swamp until he just started. You feel me? I don't know. I don't know, bro. He just started. He, 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 it's just like he got too old. You know what I'm saying? It's like he got too old. As y'all got to understand, this is my oldest boy. Mm -hmm. It's my oldest boy, you know what I'm saying? So you know how the relationship be with the parents and shit. He out here listening to Team Eastside and Peasy and Dame and all them. And you know what I'm saying? All this rap shit is going to his head. It's going mm -hmm. to his head, you know what I'm saying? And I'm trying to say, my son, this is what I'm trying to do. This is where I'm taking this battle, if y'all asking me that. I'm trying to save my child. 
Bless him, Lord. To answer your question, man. To answer Clean, your what's question. up, bro? What's going what's on, up? bro? Oh, shit, man. You know, here telling, you know what I'm saying? And here he's explaining the Willie Bobos about my son. You know what I'm saying? I see his success. I love his success. You know what I'm saying? I love the mm-hmm. success that he has right now. You know what I'm saying? I- I do want to be better than me, but it's just the talk that we got to have. And this talk don't need to be had behind closed doors. It needs to be had in the public. I need to pull up on him in his classroom, you feel me? And I really need to beat his motherfucking ass. That's what need to happen. Because I've been telling this nigga year after motherfucking year after motherfucking year and time after motherfucking time, and I'm tired of explaining myself, and I'm tired of telling I'm tired of telling him. I got the, the belt in my hand right now while I'm fucking talking. Tired of shit. <laughs> now, y'all know goddamn well. As soon as I seen the nigga, as soon as he even hit the camera, all I heard was, uh, this nigga remind me of who? Who he reminds y'all of? Yeah. Who? I just told you I'd be down there. He remind me of. Except for he ain't got the, he, oh, he ain't got the, but, but he remind me of, oh, no, he ain't, if he ain't got the, then he don't remind you of, you feel me? True. Blaine, I got another question. Hey, Musa. What's up? When you gonna come do an interview with me and Musa? I'm gonna come do it when y'all are ready for me to come do it. So you gonna do it on like Monday after your battle? Yeah. I'm dead. Yeah. Here. Is y'all gonna be there? <laughs> I am. Well, yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna do it Monday after the battle. All right. Y'all heard this, everybody? Shit, I, I might do the motherfucking interview during the battle. <laughs> <laughs> like way <right> after. Huh? <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> <All right. laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Had to call. I had to call Ace out earlier and shit, you know what I'm saying? And I said shit, you know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, I called smacking them shit. I'm thinking that this shit should be called Kitchen Clean in the URL, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that got a nice little ring to it. No. I know you want to leave me, <laughs> but I refuse to let you go. I'm the best thing ever happened to this damn group. Nobody's bigger than the group. <sighs> you all ain't stupid. I'm the one selling the records. They coming to see me. They coming to see the temptations. Ain't nobody coming to see you, Otis. You wish you could. Oh, my God. Clean, what up, bro? So, Ace, I mean, ain't nobody coming to see you, Otis. Otis. Nah. You wish you could get up there and work that stage like me, but you can't. I need to rap, though. Your charisma, though, I don't know. Kind of crazy. Niggas wish they could be me, man. These niggas ain't me. I told y'all what I was coming back to do. And I'm doing it. I'm hey, clean. It. Yeah. They act like they forgot when you serious about this shit. You one of the niggas in the culture that really can become unbeatable when you for real with this shit. Literally. Man, okay. Man, you, you heard what I just said, what I had to tell Battle Rap? You heard what I just said I had to tell Battle Rap? And I refuse to let you go. <laughs> it's not happening. Bling, you should battle. I'm David Jazz Ruffin. This year. You feel me? You should battle Jazz this year. So it could be they a can't do this to me. <laughs> <laughs>